The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by High Pressure Pneumatics, Air Guns of Arizona, Baker Air Guns, Air Gun Pro Shop, and of course, Caliber Gun Air Guns. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. What is going on, Air Gunners? Welcome back to the show. I am Chad Kettner, your Air Gun Advisor, and today we have probably one of my favorite, at least to date, semi-auto air guns right here. This is the Caliber Gun Springbok in 22 caliber. This thing is a monster and super consistent. And I'll talk about the chronograph data later, but first let's take a look at what we have. We've got nice wood furniture on here. We've got Picatinny rail on the side. Both sides have it. You also have the pick rail on top for your scope. We have a shrouded barrel with a one half by 20 on the end, so you can quiet it down a little bit further. Nice carbon fiber tank. You have uh, on the side here, you have your pressure gauge, and then further back, you have your regulator gauge. It does unfortunately use a fill probe, but if you noticed, this fill probe, I stick it right in here and leave it there because that then allows me to go ahead and fill it with a quick disconnect and that fill probe's not falling out. Now, if I was to take this out to the woods and do some hunting with it or something, I would definitely remove the fill probe and they have a little thing that inserts into there to kind of keep it all tight for you. But overall, really nice gun. This is the cocking handle on the side here. Of course, you just cock it once, you pull it back and you insert, that handle slides in and out, and you insert it in there that pulls the hammer back and it allows you to insert the magazine. Once the magazine's inserted, you pull it out and you let it go, and then you're ready to rock and roll. The safety, bright red, I love that. I think that more manufacturers should do that, um, and it's very easy to see on both sides. I think that is a very nice feature. What else do we have here? It is regulated. You'll notice that on right here, I think it is, let's take a look. Okay, right there, you'll notice that that is the regulator uh, adjustment. And now I would not mess with this out of the box because the regulator has to be balanced in order for the hammer to actuate over and over again in this semi-auto format. So otherwise you will be uh, messing about and have to cock it each and every time. Don't do that. I would shoot it right out of the box. You also do have a hammer spring adjustment in the back, like all the caliber gun lines. So you can't adjust it there. But again, I'm going to just tell you, let it be, um, especially if it's working for you right out of the box because you don't want to mess with it and mess up the balance of the valve and everything working to actuate the next shot. So it's a little bit of a different system, but I really, really like it. It's fun to shoot, very consistent. I was mentioning I did some chronograph data testing for you and it was shooting over a thousand feet per second with the 18.13 grain pellets. Yeah, that was moving. And uh, I did a shot count of 51. I got my data right here, cheating a little bit today. Uh, 51 shots, I didn't go all the way through. You can get more shots than 51. I hadn't even fallen off the regulator at that point in time. But again, I didn't want to waste all my ammo with a, a standard deviation of 8.2 feet per second. That is really nice out of a semi-auto kind of bullpup design here. And I really love the fact that semi-auto and they included wood furniture on that. I haven't seen many semi-autos to do that, and that just really kind of uh, sets it apart from some of the others. But overall, very nice gun here. Comes with two magazines, that fill probe, which I wish we could get rid of. Just mount a quick disconnect right to the side of the gun and be done with it, guys. But not awful. And of course, it has a mount for your bipod here. So let's go ahead and take this down to the range and see exactly what it's doing out of the box. All right, we're down here at the range. This is the moment you all have been waiting to see. This is the Caliber Gun Springbok 22 caliber semi-auto. This thing is killing it. Now, what is it killing it with? Well, it is actually using these JTS 21 grain dead center pellets that I picked up at Extreme Benchrest as a trial for me to try out. And they are 
awesome. So without further ado though, guys, let's go ahead and get some pellets on paper so you can see what this thing is all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. I have got a full round of magazine here. We're gonna put this on in. This is the caulking lever. You notice it is set back so I can load the magazine and then you let it go and you're off to the races. So here we go. 50 yards down there. See if we can get a good group for you guys on camera. And uh, let's have some fun, man. This thing is absolutely a riot to shoot. So I'm going to, now my crosshairs are gonna be different than the point of impact as per usual. You're gonna notice that uh, I do that specifically so I can keep my point of impact intact as my aiming point. So here we go, first shot. There's one, two, three, four, five. Now, if I'm looking through down that scope right, you're gonna notice that all of them are in one hole except for that first shot, I believe it was, maybe the second shot, but that is phenomenal. That out of a semi-auto, I mean, guys, this may be the gun that everyone should be talking about when it comes to semi-automatics. So this thing is awesome. Let's get another one in there for good measure. I mean, it just keeps going. I mean, what's not to like? That's, what, seven pellets almost in the same hole, guys? guys if you want more information, go check out Air Guns of Arizona. That is where you're going to be able to pick up the caliber gun Springbok and 22 caliber. Absolutely loving it. I'm going to go ahead and rattle off a couple more shots. But until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight. And we'll see you again next time on the Air Gun Advisory. That's awesome. Yes!